We here at the Singer Featherweight Shop in April 1930s are really excited to introduce the feed cover plate designed specifically for the Singer Featherweight 221. It is an exact replica from the very, very scarce to find and expensive original feed cover plate attachment. Unlike the plates that screw onto the bed of the machine, this new feed cover plate is only about an inch or so in size and snaps right into place. It does not touch any of the machine's painted surface or decals, so you won't have to worry about harming the finish of your featherweight. First, you will need to put the stitch regulator in a neutral position. This is very important because it will allow the feed cover plate to remain locked in position. To put your machine in neutral, so to speak, is to adjust the stitch regulator so that it is parallel to the floor. The feed dogs will not advance forward nor in reverse. Some might see this as redundant or wonder, why do I still need a feed cover plate then if my feed dogs are in neutral? Well, with the feed dogs set to neutral, they are still moving straight up and down. The neutral position is only preventing the fabric from advancing forward and backward. However, as you can see in this demonstration, the sharp gripping teeth of the feed dogs rise to the surface at the very point when free motion movement in any direction is necessary. The point when the needle, consequently the embroidery foot, are also up. With each rise and fall of the needle, the embroidery foot also raises and lowers. When the foot is up, movement is supposed to be free. Free motion quilting then becomes counterintuitive without the feed dogs covered because the feed dogs are in the up position at the exact point of movement. The sharp teeth can catch on the bottom fabric, especially with a thick quilt. The smooth chrome finish of the feed cover plate is comparable to the smooth finish of the bed of your machine and will permit you to glide your work easily in any direction, regardless of the position of the feed dogs. Removing the plate is easy too. Simply take your vintage little screwdriver that came with your featherweight and insert it into the little slot in the front of the plate and lift. Pick up the plate with your fingers and return your stitch regulator to a normal position. You can use this feed cover plate with the vintage original embroidery attachment or we also carry a very sturdy new all metal free motion embroidery attachment in the shop as well. Click on the links in the video description to order any of these with free shipping in the US. Be sure to watch our other video for how to free motion quilt on a Singer Featherweight 221 and share the news of this exciting new development in the world of featherweights and the Singer Featherweight shop.